The linebackers have been one of the most consistent groups of the NIU defense over the past five seasons, producing all max selections in four of the last five years. First year coach Ross Watson feels good about where the group is so far in camp. So far, very pleased. I mean, you know, as, as we talked, uh, you know, to our guys, they're, they're doing a great job in, in the meeting room, on the field, of coming together and, and working as a unit. You know, I talked to those guys, hey, it's got to be something that filters through the whole team. So our room's got to be start with, with being a unit, being a tight-knit group. And then that'll go to the secondary, to the D-lines, the defense, and then the offense, you know. And, and everybody's got to have that mentality that it's, that, it's, that it's the we. Put everybody else first. And, uh, and and be prepared for that mentally to put everybody else first and, and then worry about your, your own personal stuff. Returning four players that played in all 14 games last year, Watson thinks the leadership the group brings is crucial to the positions and team success overall. Well, you know, veteran guys, they bring some, some experience, obviously, with, with uh, day in and day out stuff. You know, obviously, uh, you know, playing-wise, they bring that experience, but... You know, yesterday we, we took the guys over there for the uh, throwback Wednesday and, and, and had them in the old time locker room and, uh, you know, something as, 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 as important as that is, learning the culture that we talk about with the guys and understanding how this place was built and, and where it came from, uh, those guys can shed light onto that. You know, the books are helpful, learning uh, about the communities and talking to people are important. Those guys are part of it. You know, they've been here longer than I have, so those are good resources for the younger players, myself, uh, and, and it's valuable to have those guys around. Uh, also on the, on the football side of it, you know, the, the more eyes, the more sets of coaches that we have in the linebacker group, the better off that we're going to be. You know, and those guys are coaching the younger guys, helping them, uh, you know, they got to have eyes on the drills just as, as much as I do. So they've been, they've been invaluable with that and doing a great job so far. Watson goes on to explain how the group seeks a more consistent approach on the field each day. And one thing that we're trying to do in practice is wear them out, you know, so that so that we can see uh, if we are eliminating those, those, those peaks and valleys, you know, and, and getting those out of the guys. Because um, that's where they usually come up is when you're tired. You know, when those guys are fresh and, and ready to roll and mentally locked in. First couple days of camp, everyone's, you know, got that excitement, that, that new car shine, and they're ready to go. And as you start getting day six, seven, eight, uh, that starts to, to wear off. But we want to push those guys in so it does it, you know, so that they, they don't have those days off or even within practice don't have those periods off or, hey, I go as fast as I can for the first five minutes of team one, but the second five isn't as good. We, got, we, we want to get that out. We want to eliminate that. So that's how we're structuring the practice schedule. And, and so far, it's been phenomenal. I mean, our guys understand that when it when we hit the field, it's time to go. There's no uh, there's not a single period that we got that is in full speed. Coach has been pleased with the younger players in the linebacker room, and he says the youth in the group is what keeps the position strong and the competition flowing. You know, I, I'm, I'm pleased with that young group. You know, they I, I tell those guys, hey, you've got to mentally and physically push the older group. And that's one thing that I really like about the room is, is we've got guys that are spaced out from senior all the way down to, to new pup freshmen that are all wanting to compete. You know, there's not a guy in that room that's saying, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to sit behind this guy and learn. They're learning from them, but at the same time, they're, they're trying to push those guys and take their job. And that competition is great. I love that competition within a room, and, and it's going to make us better. So, Inside the 35 ball.